12 is also headed back to class and new this morning. We are getting our first look inside of an Indiana classroom. Wayne Township is showing only CBS 4 what your kids are walking into when they head back to school next week. This is my fourth grade classroom. It is an emotional return for fourth grade teacher Cricket Johnson. There was a lot of unfinished business from last year. Just knowing that I didn't get to say goodbye to my kids. She walked into her classroom for the first time last month and immediately got to work sanitizing and rearranging. They usually are in groups and they have a seat choice. They have differentiated seating. All of that is changing. Yes, all of that is changing. Not only did she have to get rid of her flexible seating. Hopefully I can fit all these desks in here. But she had to reorganize her desks so that everyone is three to six feet apart and facing the same direction. It looks like I can fit three front to back. It is harder than I thought. Her students will be socially distanced and wearing masks. Johnson, a mask as well, potentially a face shield. It is very sterile. It's Do you think that's going to impact how they learn? I, I would like to say no, but I know that it will. I can't be like hovering over them like, oh, you have an issue with this problem. Let me see. Let me get over you. Like, I still have to stand back. The parents will have to stand back as well. Westlake Elementary Principal Dr. Denisha Murph says they will not be allowed to walk their kids into the classroom on the first day. It will be especially tough for those sending their kindergartners off for the first time ever. It'll be different because we like the first day of school to be very welcoming and inviting for our families. Yeah, that's going to be especially tough. It's something I didn't even think yeah. of. Um, Westlake Elementary is like a lot of other schools. In the hallways, they're going to have arrows there on the mm -hmm. floors to kind of direct traffic. You know, you can only go one way. And then they have plexiglass barriers in the front office so that you can't be right in front of the staff members. Lunchtime, recess, it's all going to be adjusted to maintain crowd control, social distancing. But it's going to be difficult. Yeah. Uh, and something else I didn't think of is the teachers, you know, when you and I were in school, if, if you needed help, you raised your hand, the teacher came over. That's not going to be happening either. Yeah, and think about all this. So not only do they have to do all that, at some point between all that, they have to actually educate the kids too. Right. All right, that's, that's a really tough It's just to like do. such a mental game, I think, right? Yeah. I mean, so you just have to be so conscious of so much. Yeah, you do. You really so. do. Yeah. Great Kudos story. to all of you. Absolutely.